Hi Taurus, welcome to I Enigma. I'm going to be doing your general reading for November 15 to November 21. I will see the current energies around you and how does this person feel for you, what is going to happen next. Upcoming events, health and career guidance in a nutshell. Please note that this is a general reading, it may or may not resonate, so take what resonates and leave what does not. If you want to get a personal reading consultation, white prayer spells and premium charge crystals from me, this is uh, Onyx, Black Onyx. Feel free to reach out to me on WhatsApp, Instagram and email. All the details are given down below in the description box. If you want to be a part of my manifestation workshop, that's going to start in November 25. Get more details, reach out to me for the same as well. Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus sign in Taurus, Ross Watchers. I see the messages for you. You're in this uh, crossroads right now wanting to make a decision, a firm decision to change your life for good. I feel like you've taken that first step important to make a change in your life. I feel like you're a little conscious. You're wondering like, should I, should I not? Is this going to be the right time for me to decide or is or should I wait a bit? You know, you're a little conscious. You're wondering about change. Will this change bring me the success? that I'm looking for. This is something that's bothering you. This is something that's, you know, making you feel worried and insecure or conscious. You don't know how this is going to wear. This is going to lead. Some of you are thinking of a career change as well. I feel like some of you are thinking of a relocation or changing uh, your company, wherever you're working, changing your style of work, your position, whatever it is. It's like something that is like a risk. And you're worried about how this is going to pan out. All right. Some of you have started to walk away from the past lover that was extremely uh, closed off and you kept on trying, but this, there was no um, outcome. So I feel like that made you feel you need to finally break away from this connection and move towards a new beginning in your life. And you're very much ready for it. But there's a fear inside. There's a little fear that you know, uh, am I doing this right or not? So the universe is telling you to be strong. It happens. It happens in every, everyone's life. We need to be flexible to the changes. We need to evolve. So that, that is what is happening with you, Taurus. Right now you're evolving. Evolution is happening right now. So enjoy this journey. I feel like the universe just wants you to have faith in yourself and do anything you're doing with confidence. There's something, there's an energy that's stopping you, that's blocking you. I think that has a relation with your love life. Okay, some of you don't want to leave someone that you have invested so much in. Okay, but this is the best decision for you because if this is toxic like this devil card, then you have to walk away and you have to be strong and firm in making decisions in your life. So that is what you're doing right now. Some of you are leaving a Capricorn behind. I feel like the sun and the king of cups it's time for you to enjoy the journey with someone new it's time for you to um attract new love in your life okay this love is massive this love is life changing this love is someone that's going to bring a lot of positivity and emotions in your life you're going to be feeling like you've got it all when you have love you feel you've got it all when you have money you feel like like yes i have enough but when you have love you know you've got it all that is what your energy right now is. You feel you've got it all and you feel like you are precious. Your life is precious. You have to protect it. You have to take care of it. You have to love it. You have to uh, treat it like a child. You're going to be extremely possessive and caring towards your partner because they're highly sensitive and caring and loyal towards you. This is someone that also acts like a little kid you know wanting your attention so badly but i'm feeling like there's also an energy of baby boy like you guys will think about having a kid and the first kid most probably between you guys could be a boy i'm sensing a leo person that's coming in for sure 
all right so i'm also sensing there is a fear there's something now i have to figure out what that is are you fearful of taking a leap of faith towards a new beginning there's something that you're worried about you're like am i doing this right i need clarity i think i should get a personal tarot reading if it's so stressing then you can get one tarot reading to have some sense of motivation but I feel like the universe is literally pushing you and asking you to have faith that everything is going to turn out absolutely more than expected. You just keep moving forward. Okay. If something is bothering you, you feel like there's a lot of work to be done. You feel like there's a lot of changes that you, you need to embrace. It's okay. The struggle is good. Without any pain, there is no gain. So it is important. So if you're stressing around things not working out, it's my guarantee things will working things will work out in future. All you have to do is some work, okay? And not stress around that. Enjoy the journey. The nine of wands and the nine of swords is a clear message that you're scared of ending something. You're scared of ending, you're scared of the change. Okay, you have to be flexible. That is very, very important for you. Taurus, please. All right. Okay. Wow. Right now, universe doesn't want to see what's coming exactly because it wants to surprise you. But right now, it is really important for you to just go out, have fun, meet new people and do things that you always wanted to do. And also join a hobby, the, the dance class, whatever makes you happy. Little adventures will bring a lot of uh, spiritual uh, balance in your life a lot of uh, you know happiness and completion in your life so I feel like take those little baby steps to make those big changes in your life you don't know where you're going but you're going right okay so some of you there is a Pisces that you will be meeting on your way towards the personal changes that you're going through right now Traveling is something that is important for everyone. I suggest because when you travel, when you take a break, when you travel, you literally revive your senses, okay, amongst the nature because we are all made of nature. Money can't make us happy. It does satisfy us. It does give us everything. But the true happiness comes from when we connect with the elements of earth, elements of universe because this is who we are. This is how we are made. So, and then we are having the Ace of Pentacles to us also without even knowing what where you're going what you're doing i feel like you don't need a strategy or a plan you just need to take forward steps and with these forward steps i'm sensing you're going to land a great opportunity with the money there is a lot of growth there's a lot of money growing there's solid commitment with the work i feel like job permanency maybe not in the current situation but uh some of you if you're giving an exam if you've joined a course it might take two years and after then your job is permanent or if you have been like wondering like should I go for this job opportunity should I give, go get this grab this career opportunity it's a big yes like how do I say it it's a big yes you're going to make a lot of money so don't worry about the outcome just focus on moving forward if something is not right with you you're not you think you have to try and try and doesn't work out walk away from that situation so what about the love over here Yeah, three of swords. Yes, I feel like someone is still hurting and I'm so sensing it could be you. It could be you, Taurus. But I feel like the universe is saying that the separation is very important and you have to be firm in your decision with someone like an arc. I feel like you've got separated from the right, you know, from the wrong person. You got, you did it right. This person was an arc and I feel they're still blaming you for all that they did to you that was not right okay so i feel like you don't need justification you don't need clarification all you need to do is just final separation you have to accept this because there is someone that is still trying to hold on to you and then put a blame on you and treat you like you are a victim okay and this person could be an aries or a libra tell me about the king of cups here wow the king of cups is very a childlike energy this could be younger or this is someone that is highly youthful spirit i feel they come in your energy with a big 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 change big bang so this is like a bang bang on like I, how do i say 
uh this person is coming with a bang yes the hangman i feel you least expected someone like that to come into your life this is a complete opposite the emperor the hangman this person is a complete opposite of the past person there's someone that's gonna put you on a pedestal it's gonna treat you like a king or a queen more important than they themselves i feel like this could be a pisces this is someone highly sensitive this is someone that karma is bringing you to and uh, libra energy yeah you might meet this person through a mutual friend okay or in a public place where you guys do know each other but through someone there's an energy like that you guys will develop a good friendship six of cups is like a lot of meetings a lot of i feel like you guys are connected with each other through your mutual friends through your childhood friends or there's some sort of a soulmate kind of familiarity with this person when you meet them they will treat you like they already know you it's not as if you guys have met each other for the first time you guys know each other okay maybe uh, energetically or physically you guys may have met earlier as well this person will uh, ignite a spark in you they will make you feel like life is beautiful and it's much more than what you thought and this is someone that will make you feel like you want to win them actually they are the one that's coming with this energy that when they see you they'll be like i have to win this taurus they are mine i have to make them mine they're mine you know they're treating you like an award like the result of all they did in the past like you are like a karmic result for this person you're someone that universe has given them as a result of their good deeds so they don't want to lose you it's like a sudden spark you both felt for each other and since that day they're just trying their best to chase you to have you to make you there this person has made up their mind that they have to win you no matter what happens but you on the flip side are intimidating af you are like more like no i'm not gonna fall into this i will observe this person you will put this person on a test you're not gonna let it flow easy with this person even though you have strong attraction you're still gonna be smart enough to be or to you know see whether this is someone that is going to stick around or not because you're very concerned and very particular about who is coming in with something more serious and long term rather than who is coming in for something short term so if this person is coming with an energy of marriage or true love a long term commitment then it's a big yes so you're going to wait for this person to immediately tell you that they want to marry you or not until unless they don't tell you that they want to marry you're not going to trust this person that's what i'm saying yes you still are hurting over the past because they did you wrong they made you feel bad this could be someone um the new person could be someone that is in the same workplace as you are okay so you guys cannot interact with each other much but this person wants to extend this connection this person wants to meet you outside uh you know um the professionalism that's also possible and i'm definitely seeing you both are thinking a lot about each other but may not be telling each other how you feel for each other taurus yes you both are keeping it secret you both have overflowing this person especially started to feel strong emotions towards you but the problem over here is they are not able to express them yet they're keeping it to themselves that is something that i'm seeing what is the most probable outcome here <clears throat> The outcome over here is this connection needs a lot of work. There's a possibility that you guys may have some conflict later on, may have incompatibility issues, or you guys are coming from different countries. You guys, despite of wanting to be with each other, won't be able to adjust with each other because you may need to change your country or your place, or your place of work. So it will turn out to be a little difficult to handle, but then it's up to you. So this is workable. Now let's see can advice here. Currently, I'm seeing the situation will be a little dicey between you and this person, but I'm seeing the future is definitely there between you and them. Write down the comment section, say, I deserve only the best and F the rest. The chariot. I'm definitely seeing the movement should be um, forward and not backward. Okay. It's time that you grow out of your insecurities let go of the one that worries you that bothers you and there you go eight of cups drop the cup from the past someone from the past literally trying to you know have you back okay <clears throat> hmm. 
wow the outcome is beautiful over here if you stay to the if you stick to this person if you give them a chance to open up if you give them time to open up there is marriage over here okay there is a need for mutual adjustment mutual understanding over here community this could be someone from your background only okay and you might meet this person through a known person okay this is your expectation that you want someone that is here for something long term and not something non-serious and you know um as for convenience yeah this is someone that will make you feel like this is your soulmate you guys will have a familiar sense of touch with each other very strong familiarity with each other you guys may have met earlier as well this could be one of your neighbors because we got the community card and you guys have met each other first before when you were young or something like that but this turns out to be your true love and yes but you need to separate yourself from what is hurting you right now complete separation your person is sensitive new person i'm worried about the outcome here there is a little difficulty in uh, you know you both want to get married to each other but there will be difficulty when it comes to uh, turning things into reality because expectations will be uh, right both of you will have expectations to be with each other but turning things into reality is something that will uh, uh, that will require work answer prayers this is exactly who you were looking for okay prayers are being answered and i'm gonna be doing the signs like let me see what are the signs coming towards you taurus right now in the comment section say i'm abundant i'm becoming more and more successful and i believe in myself and like this aries you have virgo you have pisces energy coming in now from Aries to Pisces, your person's feelings towards you, Taurus. Oh, okay, that's Aries. Aries is definitely wanting to work things out. They're thinking a lot about you. But this is someone that is a little stiff in their action. They expect a lot from you. This person is working really hard to work things out with you. The Taurus is very 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 calm and composed they're not going to put any kind of pressure but this person's going to do things extra for you the gemini has made up their mind they're talking to their family for you the cancer is someone that is still blocked this person could be from the past they don't want to talk the leo person is giving up on love they are not in a happy phase right now virgo wants to be left alone they're trying to figure out or analyze this connection Libra. Libra is going through a lot of financial problems in their life. So I don't think they're ready. And the Scorpio person is making a decision. Maybe they have to leave someone that they were about to date for you. Sagittarius is right now stalking you a lot. They're wondering what's going on with you. They're very interested. Capricorn is very nice and calm and easygoing and sensitive and emotional. But this person has a crush on you. Aquarius. Aquarius is very protective, possessive. They want to have you. They're like a father figure or a mother figure. This person does want to marry you and they're thinking about that. Pisces. Pisces is ending this. I feel like the Pisces is someone that if this is a new person, they still have to put an end to the past relationship so that they can have you in their life. They can start something afresh. This person is going through a lot. So this is something very like with Pisces, it's going to be very, very dicey. You have to be extra sensitive towards this person. Most probable soulmate is your Gemini. And if it's a Gemini coming in, then it's not a soulmate type of vibe. It is actually your soulmate. Uh, this person belongs to your soul family, okay, from your past life. That is why I feel the connection. Don't allow love triangle to be formed. Or this is also telling me that you'll meet this person through a third person. But if it's about you still having feelings of the past person, avoid that at all costs. This is a spiritual bond. Universe is bringing you guys together. This is fated. And someone's name is Caroline, Carla, Arlene, something like that. Arlene. So take a pause. You may need some break from the regular, you know, work and all that you've been doing. So your person has R. Someone's name could be Ronald, uh, Ray League, Ryan, Lara, 
Lydia, something like that. I don't know many names, so whatever names can come to me, I will say. But whatever names you can make out through these letters, please write down in the comment section. Y A E L R I. Someone's from India, America, England, London, Yugoslavia, Paraguay, Uruguay, Czech Republic, Puerto Rico, L A L B, Alabama, Russia, Egypt. Any country that has Y in it, like Kenya, Algeria, no, not Algeria, Kenya, anything like Y should come in. Someone is in army, military, okay, engineer, someone is a beautician. So that's what I'm seeing over here. Rest, you can make it out A R L Y E I, okay. So this is your message, Taurus. I hope you've enjoyed this wonderful, beautiful reading. Thank you for your time. Please do like, share, comment, and subscribe to iEnigma. Bye.